No, 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 no heroes. No, 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 no heroes. No heroes, baby. All right, all right, all right. Welcome, Nakamas, TCG players, fans, everybody around the globe to this amazing deck profile with the European champion, Fabian. Welcome, Fabian. Hello, Moody. Hello, brother, man. I'm so <laughs> excited <laughs> because we both know each other. You topped in Bielefeld. So this is where we met each other. I had a couple of chats with you, an interview, a little a bit of flirting with you. You're a really nice guy. And there you went to do the tops. <laughs> And then yeah. we saw each other in Liverpool. We saw each other in Hannover. And now we saw each other in Utrecht. Yeah, it's been a crazy journey. And now I'm the European champion. It's it's a bit unreal, but yeah. It's amazing, a, man. Amazing. It, I mean, it whatever, whatever it is, you definitely deserve it. I mean, did you get it like this? Did you just go to the tournament without training? Or how did you prepare for the tournament? Yeah, for sure. I had training. Um, I participated in the Treasure Cup in Hanover in December and wasn't that good with, with Takazuki. And from there on, I kept on grinding the all the matchups and went like crazy. Yeah, I trained a lot for this tournament. Did you also use the, the ranked sim system, the new one, which is really amazing. I really like it. The guys oh, did yeah. a really great job. Oh, yeah. When I heard from the rank it sim discord i checked it out and i immediately loved loved the system i queued like uh yeah every every time i i played on the sim um i went into the queue and tried to get the high elo and train with good players <clears throat> so you had a lot of training effort blood sweat tears yeah <laughs> everything yeah. was around yeah nice you nice. need you need when you want to perform with sakazuki <laughs> Yeah, of course. I mean, I also played Sakasuke. I went 93. Not bad for me. I'm just now hitting my shoulder because I'm, I didn't train at all. So I only went with my uh, youth talent because I'm a quite long TCG player. What about you? What's uh, with you with TCG? How long are you playing TCG games? Um, I mean, this is the real, um, the first um, TCG for me I play in tournaments. Uh, I started uh, one year ago at the Treasure Cup in Karlsruhe. And yeah, that's it. Oh, crazy, man. Crazy. This is really so you actually you're like a rookie. You're like like Ruffy, Law and Kit, like in the times when I went to Shabondi. Yeah, I mean I play a card game called Doppelkopf. It's a German card game, but not a lot of players um no not a not not a lot of people play this game because it's yeah. you can't compare it to a trading card game. I mean, if you say Doppelkopf, I think maybe of a Shisha or something. So let's keep this aside <laughs> for now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, brother, tell me, what did you play? How did you go into this tournament? Yeah, I played Zakazuki. And. Actually, I hate him. Yeah, I could. Yeah, even but... I played him. I don't respect him a lot, you know? But it. But this is such a such a such a good leader. I mean, it's it's a challenging deck. You have to think a lot about your decisions. You have to you have this busted leader ability, which let you let you f cycle through your whole deck. I mean, if you if you play Zakazuki a lot and uh, return to another leader, I I realized like man, uh, if you have a bad hand, like uh, yeah. do I have to do I have to play this hand now? Where's my Zakazuki leader ability? You can cycle through a lot of cards you don't need right now and. Yeah, it's this is just, really crazy. This, just, just the leader is busted. Yeah, he's he's like you know people who really want to top should play him. You know, the the a reasonable call is Zoro to say like I want to kill all the Zakazukis. You know, because yeah, yeah. he killed Ace. So this is reasonable, but yeah, there's no other reason for for my uh, side like picking another leader because he's the best right now. He's definitely the best. Yeah, he for sure is. I mean, look at yeah. uh, our top cut in Europe. Um, it says it says all. Yeah, I don't know how the top cut in America will be. I'm really really curious about this. Um, yeah, me too. I'm I'm excited to watch the the nationals uh, at the weekend. It's in a couple of days. Yeah, man. You can yeah. also come to us and we watch together. We oh. Sit, we eat some popcorn and stuff. 
<laughs> Maybe if you're not that <laughs> far away, but <laughs> I think you are. Yeah, so let's go with the deck. Show me yeah. what you got. Let's start. I mean, this is the the combo pieces of the deck. Every Sakazuki has to play them on four each copy. Uh, not everyone. I saw some people play this on three, but I think it's it's not a good call. Um, the Tashigi counters, Navy counters, you can search with brand new. Also Tashigi for cycling with Rebecca and Mancheri. Great eruption. This is such a great card. You don't uh, lose a card. It's a recycling effect. Um, it's just one dawn per turn. You can even sometimes play it just to cycle. You don't need a reduction. Um, and Hound Blaze, bottom decking. This card is so good. Um, yeah, this is the core for every Sakazuki, I would say. Let's move on with the four drops navies. I played, oh, I have to stack them. Three Bozalino blockers. Such a good card, can't be KO'd a lot of, uh, in a lot of matchups. This is, um, this is a better play on four drop than the, the Kuzan. But yeah, they both have their value. I mean, drawing a card with Kuzan and the cost reduction, just amazing against high drop um, bodies from your opponent. Bozzolino can be KO'd, like from Pauli on 5 Don, Gidatsu, a lot of cards in this meta um, can KO Kuzan, but not Bozzolino. Yeah, both on three. Let's move on. Another utility pick um i play three hinas in case i have to go first in a in a matchup or most important the mirror matchup i was expecting a lot if you don't have a play on three don like you can either play brand new or hina you're already behind an 8k leader swing is uh, just a garbage move and um, most of the times the player who's second will 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 take the first life anyway, um, but yeah, in eight k swing he will always take, and you have no uh, body developed. So playing this on three um, gives you a higher chance that you have a play on three don. Next card is um, Ice Age. Actually, quite interesting. You um, like most of the, I didn't play Pilaf. What do you say about Pilaf? I played Pilaf. Actually, I had it two times in my life, but. Yeah, as you said, he's uh, he has he has no counter like Hina. Hina is a body. Um, so. Yeah, it's um, it has counter power. You can Pilaf is a card you can take with um, because it doesn't have the navy keyword with brand new, for example. And I think uh, um, Pilaf can be good in some situations, especially if you manage to trigger this card. Um, once I even triggered three pilafs out of my life in a local game when I played three in my list, that was absolutely crazy. But yeah, um, it's not consistent as Hina, and Hina is even a better play if you are on three don because your the requirement to draw a card is always there. When you draw your first card, if you have Hina on starting hand, um, play it. You can draw a card. You are on six six cards in your hand, four life, and one body al already developed. Um, such a good card on on your second turn if you go first. Yeah, I love it. And even even in the late game, uh, you can sometimes play it when your hand is low. Yeah, I wish I played her. And I yeah, wish I sure. played. Uh, I, I I wish I played three cousin, cousin. But Kuzan. yeah, I heard on my teammates. I will not do this anymore. Next time I will talk to you. Yeah. Before the tournament. Yes, of okay. course. <laughs> yeah, of course. Not after. Okay. Our highest cost in the deck, 7-drop Borsalino. I don't play Oops. Kaidos. No um, this card is um, good against, um, I mean, like every every 6k leader. It's good in the mirror game if you drop it on 7 drawn. Um, even later in the game, it can be good. You need it against... Purple Luffy against Whitebeard, against Yellow, especially against Enel, you need high high bodies to for your finishing turn because this deck um, doesn't play Tender of Kaido. Um, let's move on. I play two Mancherries and two Zabos. 
great card if you have Don open and you can cycle it. If you have arrested Mancheri, your opponent can't ignore her. He has to attack it, uh, attack it, and yeah, if he let it on the board, you will j just gain um, so much value out of it. Sabo, because I was expecting a lot of Katakuri players, but in the end, I only faced one Katakuri in the whole tournament. So pretty lucky because I, um, yeah, trigger decks are sometimes um, frustrating to play against. If they high roll you, um, it's nothing. Uh, there's no skill involved uh, in shuffling your deck and hitting triggers out of your life. This is really the only reason why One Piece isn't the very, very, very best card game because of trigger effects. Trigger effects are really something they shouldn't exist. Yeah, I mean, I, I wish I, there was a card like Four Dawn uh, on play effect. Your opponent can trigger cards this turn. That would be so fun. Uh, counter card for yellow. I mean, <laughs> yeah. But... I mean, maybe someday they will put sideboards. Maybe cards like this. I mean, yellow will get now into only trigger. So at least now, you 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 have to expect it. It's not really random. The next decks will be like when they play the yellow. They have so many cards which can look into their life. They will decide what they trigger and everything. So at least I think this will get at like he has a second deck. Yeah, this yeah. would be easier then, but right now it's like roulette. Yeah, it is. Yeah, so but yeah, brother. Yeah. Um, some of you guys maybe will see it that this list um is like um the list um the Singapore player from the team Seafood King Fabian played. Uh, originally uh, it's was... Fabian and Fabian. Yeah, yeah, it's crazy. I, I even saw that um there was a Twitter from him where he mentioned this. So he was, uh, yeah, um, he was recognizing the list and I nice. um, messaged him on Discord. Uh, yeah, he played four Borsalinos and only one Sabo. And I chose to play one Sabo more because it, it's such a good defense card against Katakuri in the late game. Yeah, that's I really list. loved Sabo in the in And the I, love the, I love the consistency. I just tested this list before the tournament uh, four hours before going to bed the the whole month in january i was playing with ten drop kaidos my list um i i was thinking to play at the nationals was um something like this but this list is too greedy and you don't need this is exactly my list without hina with pilaf really actually. yes yes Oh yeah, <laughs> I mean I, because of the good. score, the 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 list is um pretty tight, so there aren't that many spots and variations. But yeah, this this list um don't need ten drop Kaido because in the mid and early game you have um a better chance to hit your utility plays like Hina or Kuzan, and yeah, you always want to see a four drop when you're going second. If you if you don't see it, um you're pro you're already a bit behind in the game. So, yeah, playing this on six is, I would say, the minimum. I was testing with five, and a lot of times I didn't have a five drop, uh, sorry, a four drop on my on my play, uh, on my my turn, and that's that's not what you want to see. So how was your matchups on day one? How did you go, go through the tournament? Um, yeah, I will run it down pretty quickly. First match was Whitebeard. I went second. I won. Second was um, Purple Luffy. That's um, if you don't low roll and don't see any hound places or removals, um, it's a hard matchup. If they high roll, but most of the games, um, you're uh, you have an advantage in this matchup. So Purple Luffy, I went first, won that. Then my first mirror in the third round, um, lost all the dice rolls in the in the early stages of the tournament. I went first, won that. Then another mirror game. Again, I went first, won that. And then the first um, game I wasn't too sure about. I faced a, a Zoro, and Zoro can, yeah, pressure you pretty, pretty good with, um, yeah, a, a whiteboard and rush characters. But if you see Rablucci or more, uh, more than one copy, you have you have a good chance to, yeah, even win against Zoro. So um, 
my opponent bricked a lot. He played two searches and whiffed in the um, on one turn. So he yeah he had a bad chance of um, winning that match. So I won that too. Sixth round was an anal. I went first and won that. Then the seventh round was a mirror game. Um, this was my first loss on that day. Uh, I even went second, but I co I couldn't answer his seven drop Bosalino. And yeah, that's what when I mean I could I answered it with um, Hina and Roblucci, but in most of the mirror games you don't want to be the player who plays the um, the combo first. So the perfect answer on eight on is great eruption leader swing, uh, removing the seven drop with your own. But I didn't see that. So sometimes I. I, in the tournament, I was thinking to play this card on four would have been greater since I don't run Kaido. And you want to at least have uh, one high drop on your yeah on your on your board to clear to finish out games. So yeah, I, really I loved, loved playing him. Like every time I had him, uh, most of the time I won actually. Yeah, I can't wait to get the special card in OPO six from him. It's such a uh, such a beautiful card. And yeah, the effect also. Um, let's move on. Um, I am um, at the eight round. Another purple Luffy went second, won that. Another purple Luffy, I went first and won that. And yeah, so far, eight won. And the last um, game was against Katakuri, my only one. And yeah, Kuzan was the MVP in this in, in this game. Um, he played two ten drops, uh, ten drop big moms after each other and i had a kuzan on board and could answer the first big mom with a seven drop Bosalino. and after he played the second big mom he was on three life and i just had a big board and had to go for finish and i did the sequencing right right and played around a trigger but um he didn't have have a trigger in his last life so yeah i won that too so nine one in the first um at the, in the first day and the second day in the 11th round, I met uh, Zoro. Uh, lost to him because I only had a Zoro the whole game. No other 2k counter, so I had no defense. And then I played against another Zoro, went second, hit the dream opening, brand new. Had a lot of um, cards in my trash already. And then Roblucci on Fordon. Yeah, and from there, there, so there on, were a lot of Zoros at the end. Yeah, I met um, three Zoros in oh, this crazy, first round. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it's it's a good answer against uh, Zakazuki. But how how did you feel after the first day? So you went the first day, you went you went nine one, right? Yeah. So what rank were you? Um, fifteen. So, so you were quite safe to to still stay, even if you lose two games. Actually, yeah. Yeah, maybe. Um, I realized um, that after the 11th round, when I saw my opponent win rate, I dropped from rank 15 to 20, and my opponent win rate was like 68%. So I was like, okay, even if I lose the last round, I will made it, uh, made it into top cut. But um, oh. the good thing is um, I won it, and yeah, the top seed is better in the best of three format, so you can choose um, your... Which place did you finish? What? Which place did, uh, did you finish the first day? Yeah, 15. 15, okay. I was 15, then 20, and then back to 15. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah, th th this was your rank. And in the top card, is it like when you're um, higher seated in the first quarter, you would always uh, you would decide the first two games if you start, right? Yeah, always the first games. And after that, you have to see which player made it um, into the top 16 and yeah i had yeah no players who were above me so i always had the dice roll in the first first round uh, sorry oh, this in, is, in the first game. this is a good advantage so really cool um yeah so what would you what were your matchups in the top 64 uh, my first matchup was a mirror game i started second um won the first game but the second game when um took too long and ended in the overtime, so I won that one. Yeah. So then it was a top 32. This, uh, like, now it's getting crazy. So the next game will decide if you win the uncut sheet. 
Yeah, it was crazy. Um, and then I met the purple Luffy I was facing in the in the first day of Swiss. So he was like, "Oh no, man, not you! I hope to to dodge the Zakazuki so I can uh, I can get the um, uncut sheet. And then after that, I don't care if I have to play against Zakazuki. But yeah, I met the same player and I won two zero against him. Yeah, because uh, Zakazuki is so good against Purple Luffy. If you see so all, at this all point, your removal. at this point, you were really happy because yeah, this is a big win." It's uh, yeah, people from all the world came there to buy it from the people directly when they finish. And... Yeah, yeah, I was super happy after I got um, top sixteen. I couldn't even imagine going this far. The the, the um, yeah, my goal was to get um, into top um, in the top cut, and after that, I just focused on every game and let's see how far I can get. So now you're in top 16. Who did you face then? Um, this was an inner player who, yeah, tried to starve me all the game. So he never attacked my life. So his Gedatsus and Yamatos will give him a lot of value. But I had a Borsalino on board, um, managed to get a 7 drop Borsalino and just poked him with 5k swings, getting some counters. And yeah, he never rested his board. It was a bit weird, but I adapted to his playstyle and yeah, managed to win the first game. And we didn't have enough time for the second game because he tried to starve me again. It was a bit weird, but yeah. Yeah, so this is his own problem. If he want to try it like this, even though he, he's in a time, he needs to run fast. So yeah, good for you. But I mean, Ener is a not so good matchup, most people think. How do you feel about the Enel matchup? Yeah, I mean, when I when I played Kaido in my deck list, I I'd love to um, meet Enel every, every every time. I was like, yeah, Enel is a free match with Tender of Kaido. It's a bit harder without um, Tender of Kaido in your list, but if you if you understand how to play against Enel, it's it's like um, it's doable. I I wouldn't say it's a free win, but it's it's pretty easy to play against Enel. But what's the plan against Enel? From your side yeah so you so you just um if there's a rested character on board from Enel, just tw swing into it with with um low low attacks just to get um every hand card out of him if they if they def it you will get value because you get hand cards if they let it die the board is clear and just poke poke him with 5k swings until he uses his, his leader ability in the late game then you can uh, go up to 7k or even 9k and yeah try to get value out of your attacks but you don't have to rush him you, you can't do it if he has a hand like seven or eight card so you have to grind him out and yeah you, you have to make sure that um you uh, he can't um yeah contest your board with uh, just keep the board clear i mean yeah this is what zakazuki does yeah yeah so yeah now you're in top eight right Yes, yes. Uh, and then what, eight. then I was playing on stream against Nami. It was um, a bit weird uh, for me to play on stream with the headphones on and I couldn't concentrate that well. A lot of people saw me making so, so heavy misplays like don't using a free block with Borsalino um, or um, using the Hound Blaze effect wrong. I bottom decked first because yeah, it was it was a weird um, situation for me. I misplayed a lot of uh, in these games. Yeah, I mean, it's like round fifteen right there in the moment. The ca headphone cancellation is really a weird situation. You know, people don't hear each other. This is uh, actually I don't like it too much. Um, I see it in all the TCG finals and everywhere. Um, I think there should be another solution for this, but I'm thinking about this for our next tournaments. Um, but yeah, so you won at the end versus Nami. I mean, Nami is anyway a stall deck. I don't really feel Nami. I don't like this uh, kind of uh, deck. Yeah, yeah. I mean, really I'm, happy I, that she, I, she I didn't wasn't, win the tournament. I wasn't prepared to play against Nami because uh, um, no one as a yeah, five and no, nine, I, right? I I just don't see this game uh, that often. Yeah, 5k and 9k swing. This is what I got taught. Yeah. It was five or nine. Yeah. 
I don't. So, I, I I didn't play. Um, also, um, I did so much um, misplays during this game. Um, yeah, you saw it on stream. <laughs> Not my best performance right there. Yeah, but anyways, you you went now to top four, so you, now you're nervous again. Like I think yeah, yeah. top sixteen was like, oh yeah, uncut sheet. Top eight, like yeah, cool, more extra packs, top player packs. Yeah, yeah. It, that that was um, I, that was um crucial because I was like, man, if you if you're going going to win this game, uh, this best of three, you're going to <laughs> participate in the world championship, and this is a crazy feeling, man. I can tell yeah. you. Yeah, I wish I would be there. <laughs> so um, it was, it, yeah, sorry. <laughs> it was another mirror game and I had the top seed. So I went second, won that game pretty clearly. Um, then my opponent was Antonino from the K2 team from Italy. And the second game, he went second and he clearly beat me. And at the at the time I was seeing I had no chance chance in winning we had like 10 minutes um time on um for for our games and i was just conceding because i i knew i couldn't win this um the second game so i was just conceding so we have a bit of time because the the time is um yeah not that great for a zakazuki mirror um we then had after shuffling seven minutes for our game and it went into overtime so he was on turn zero i had turn one and turn three so i just had to make sure that i can push for damage in the end and he has less life than me and that that's the way um i won that yeah it's not the the greatest thing but yeah sakazuki mirrors just need a lot of time because both players have to think about their plays I mean, at this level, uh, when you do plays like the, you have to do plays like this. I remember in Mülheim, Brian Kaiser played also in overtime, and he just uh, made a nice move where he had more cards in deck than the opponent, and he just uh, won the game like this. It, it, he had to do this to win the game. It was very smart. Um, you have to use this on this kind of level, I think. I mean, I, I, I wouldn't reach this level, so yeah. I, I cannot imagine, but this is how pros should do it. And see yeah, now, now you and the... yeah, the best thing would have been if we have just more time to, for our yeah, of game. course, of course. But, but it, it, is, is how it is yeah, these are the rules. Yeah, these and then the I met um, <laughs> um, Hervoye in the final, a player I played a lot of times in my tournaments, and we met the first time in Bielefeld. Great player. We always chat a lot about um, about the game after after we face each other in tournaments and yeah it it was i mean we both um were already flying to japan um and qualified i mean um so the final was a bit um yeah the pressure went off and we both uh, had good had had good games and it was it was just fun to play with him i mean i love her voice too i interviewed him and you a lot in bielefeld when i did the stream there yes and uh, I was really happy to see you both in finals. Really, really happy because you both deserve it. I know you both. It's a uh, really nice thing you're playing. And yeah, this was a crazy final, actually. Yeah, it uh, was. I, I, I mean, I was the top seed again. I went second and I lost the first round because I, yeah, again, in the mirror, if you on your eight don turn, your opponent has a seven don, sorry, a seven cost Borsalino on his play. And you don't have a prop uh, proper answer like your own seven drop Borsalino on eight on. Um yeah, that that's not the best turn you can have. So I was missing the seven drop Borsalino in the first game and lost because I played the first combo. And I think that was the Yeah. Who plays the first the combo loses most of the times, right? Yeah, yeah, you can say it like this. Yeah, I mean Hero is also a crazy player. I yeah, mean, for crazy. sure he is. <laughs> he's, he's, I, I love seeing him play. So yeah, so you you first you lost the game even though you were second, and then second game, how was it? Yeah, this was better. I mean, in the in the stream, you can see I went um, down to one life pretty fast because I was taking a six k attack and a seven k attack, but I had so much uh, combo pieces in my hand, and I think only one Tashigi in the beginning. 
that I yeah just slammed one combo after each other and he couldn't answer um, at one point and I had characters left on my board and from there on I just yeah outgrinded him and got so much value with my attacks. It's like this: if you can't remove a board with Takazuki, you're behind. Yeah. So I won that one and then went into the last game and in my opinion the crazy one because uh, this was the only time I whiffed with a brand new. I mean this list is like um, like 34 navy cards you can take with brand new. But yeah, I whiffed in this scenario and um, Hervoye even played a 10-drop Kaido. But yeah, you you can watch watch the VOD on Twitch. Um, uh, it's it was such a such a great game. Just one explanation for the end. Um, Hervoye did a misplay when he had Zuru and Hina in hand and played a Rebecca Hina Luchi combo. He took the wrong card, played it rested. It was a Zuru, and yeah, he was like, "Oh man, I I did a mistake and." was like you won i yeah i played my my combo wrong and we were i was very confused um what happened and why he conceded and wanted yeah to show him what my hand was and we were discussing if he would have lost anyway and the um, the call was i would have found a home place with my leader ability so yeah hervoyo was relieved it wasn't his mistake that he lost but yeah i would have uh, won the match anyway if you played oh. it correctly. Okay. So anyways, you are the champion now. Won the game. Won the tournament. I mean, this is like... I mean, it's like a dream come true, right? Yeah, it is. And it still feels uh, unreal, to be honest. <laughs> um, winning this last tournament, I I lost only one 3 versus 3 cup before, but never a single yeah, tournament. So this is my first tournament win, and... It's the biggest, <laughs> biggest one. Yeah, two thousand five hundred people. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So far, it's, it's the biggest One Piece tournament in the world, and this is a quite like you said. Uh, it doesn't matter if you go first or second. Uh, it's a really also you have to control your deck. I think the discarding is the most hard thing in the deck. How to yeah, cycle your is. deck? How to do it properly? I think this is why you and Hervoy again were in the tops and even in the finals. So this is not random. So people cannot say well, One Piece is just a random game. Uh, this is false. Even though we have Katakuri and Roulette, it's still a really mm -hmm. skillful game. You can really be proud of you, man. I'm uh, really happy to have the uh, uh, time and uh, the chance to uh, interview you. And but I have a couple of questions. Like, how how was your how was your plan against? Because you know you played the most time against Sakazuki. I mean, you said Enel is easy. What's like, you said like the Bossalino, the Kuzan, what is like your, the best card in your deck? The best two cards where you said, this is the card which, which changed my whole uh, tournament. Mm, I, Kuzan for sure was the MVP in a lot of matchups. Because if your opponent plays high drops in like, Purple Luffy um and he can't remove it with Pauly or doesn't he just doesn't doesn't have it. This gives you so much value and also the card draw. Even in the mirror game, it's sometimes better to play the Kuzan than the Borsalino if you have both in hand, because Kuzan will give you uh, a card draw. And most of the times the opponent in the mirror game will answer with great eruption, hound plays, boosting their character they they played on three Don. And with the other two done, they will attach and sometimes swing six with brand new, seven with the leader. Or the worst case is when they play the Hina, 7k into 7k. So if, if you think they are going to play a Hina, you have to counter the first attack. So yeah, but Kuzan is uh, one of my favorite cards here. And I'm super happy I played it on three copies. Um, because most of the times in my list, I run it only on two. But then you... Yeah, don't see it that often. Logical, yeah. <laughs> and the seven drop Bosalino, because it's the only high drop. Um, no, sorry, the biggest body in this list. Uh, you want to see at least one copy each game. Yeah, I, I really loved him all the tournament. He was really my MVP also. 
I wish I played your list. So from now on, brother, you have to give me your lists. Yes, before, it's not after yours. the tournament. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> thanks for. Uh, can you show me the trophy, please? Yeah, let's see. It's a let heavy us see one. the trophy. This is the, yeah, yeah, you can't see it that well, but this is the. It looks trophy. amazing. Yeah. You know, this log post uh, shows to no heroes, right? Like at the end, if you if you go through the log post, you reach no heroes. This Man, is where the treasures are. Uh, look how shiny it, it is. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's it's drippy. It's drippy. You also have a really nice deck, like full art deck. <laughs> yeah, I'm not I'm not that rich like Hervoye. Him, I mean, he's playing them the championship alt arts. But doesn't mean he's rich. I think he's just the, the better player. Uh, I only have I only I, <laughs> I only have three copies of Rosalino and only two Kuzans and two Kuzans. Uh, yeah, it doesn't look that good. So I'm playing the same alt art. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, you also have some championship, right? Yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. Well, see, you're the champion, man. You're the champion. I'm... Dude, I, I topped in, in your tournament in Bielefeld. I know. <laughs> I interviewed you like three times. I, I really had a lot of fun with you there. <laughs> I, amazing. So how do you... Are, are you going to prepare for the uh, finals now? Yeah, just keep on grinding the game. Play more games, more games with good players. Um, gonna get in touch with Hervoye and yeah, we will prepare for the tournament. We have to um, get the info which format is played at the Worlds, but we will see. Yeah, this can be crazy. You know, a lot of games, other games, they 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 might give you just a, a different meter. Ban Sakazuki, Ban Enel, like only for this tournament to see also not who's only the best player, who's also the best deck builder. I mean, this would be really, really interesting to see, like, who can build a great deck. Yeah, Maybe like Arlong a, will win. <laughs> I know. Like a sealed format, you mean? Yeah, somehow. You know, for the Pro Tour qualifiers in uh, Magic, you you do you did drafting. You know, this was also really skillful play. It's a long time ago when the Moody was young. But, I mean, uh, this, can, this can be everything. Um, I think they will go definitely back. They will not play the Japanese meter. It wouldn't be fair. Because they did also already championships and everything, but you know everybody thinks he's the they are the best. You know the Japanese, the Americans, the the Europeans, everybody. But this tournament will choose who is the real pirate king, who is the Kaizukuni. Yeah, it's it's going to be so 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 crazy, man. I'm excited to to see um, the nationals on the weekend. I mean, there are three going on and at the same time. It will be will be crazy stuff. I'm I'm interested. Yeah, it it's it, I expect to see a lot of more Sakazukis who will made it to the worlds. But let's see if in one region another leader can win can win it. I'm I'm really curious about this. Yeah. So you can come over. Or we can go online on Discord. Uh, you can order some pizza. I will order some pizza and we can watch some games together. I can uh, <laughs> I can learn a bit. I think we have also some great players and no heroes. I mean, know some of them. Uh, yeah, yeah. We, so let's really keep in touch for this. I want to see how you will go to the finals because you will represent us. So Fabian, you and Hervoye, my brother Hervoye, shout out to him. Yes. You will be like the keys to the treasure. So please open the treasure bring home big wins. I mean, now in the championships, there were also huge wins. And of course, everywhere where is money, there comes rumors and people say like Fabian sold his Kaido for 200,000 euros. Is this true, Fabian? Just tell me, tell me. Yes. The rumors no? are just rumors. I don't know where this came from, but I still have this awesome Kaido card. It's, it's in a safe, safe place, but yeah, I didn't sell it. I don't know why people say it, but... This is normal, Fabian. This is normal. I mean... Yeah, there can be a lot of reasons, but then let's not go into politics. No, we are players, we are no. gamers, we are lovers from One Piece. We want to and talk about the game. Yeah, it was really amazing to uh, interview you. Um, let's talk next time after you win the championships, the world championships. Let's do a <laughs> deck profile. Um, I hope you will find some time for me. You know, I do. I do only the big shots, and of course. You're one of the big shots. Hopefully, Hervoy will also talk with us. Then uh, you guys need to hang up together and train with the best. It's like Luffy and Zoro training together. 
yeah it will be it will be a, a nice journey i think you both just don't look like luffy and zoro you know i i don't want to say how you look but i'm just kidding brother yeah. is <laughs> what, what is this guy from shanks crew called <laughs> this is you mean lucky lou yeah i'm, I'm more <laughs> <laughs> uh, nice brother yeah um is there anything um you want to tell us about any secret how do you win a tournament like this is there anything where you can tell me i need this secret you know i want i want i need this recipe i also want to win a big tournament oh man i i don't know the secret if um you have to play this this deck a lot of hours to understand what what you are looking for and what to trash with your leader abilities and one thing i i always let your opponent cut i mean maybe that was a secret i always shuffle and pie shuffle a lot so I also I do this. This is mathematically the only correct way to 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 play, you know? Uh, yeah, yeah. To keep your cards like consistent because it sucks if you have something like four times in hand and if you lose because of this, this is really we say in Germany voila hype and um <laughs> yes, <laughs> it means really ungrateful. Yeah, this is like in English voila hype means ungrateful for the American people who will watch this video. Just voila hype. Yeah, man. Um Thank you for your time, really. Yeah, Thank sure, you Moody. so much, brother. Uh, you're always uh, welcome to hang around with uh, No Heroes. We are cool with Five Face, with A Social Podcast. All brothers, yeah. one family, one big Shout community. Shout out to my, to my local buddies. Um, I, we spend so much time testing. Um, yeah, it's without our training sessions, I wouldn't have made it that far. The Discord sessions analyzing the games mistakes theory so shout out to my team five face and yeah that's the most important thing the community i'm a big fan of the community to hang around with all the communities worldwide talk with singapore and everything with everybody in this world let's uh, stick together make tcg big let me be the dana white of ufc in tcg this would be amazing. I, I'm already fat, so it's all good. And I was a fighter too. And I was a good player, so the story fits. And we would do more interviews with you, Hervoy, and the other stars we have, like Justin. Um, and also the third place from Italy. Yeah, and uh, good luck to every viewer who is attending a national at the weekend. Um, it will be fun to watch. I am done with the, <laughs> with the <laughs> nationals. But yeah, good luck to you guys. Yeah, good luck to everybody. Thank you for watching. Peace out. No heroes is in the building. No, 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 no heroes. heroes. <laughs>